Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andy from Magoo Investing. Happy Monday. For people that have been paying attention, the GameStop short squeeze continues to go on. Uh, at one point, it had jumped up over like $150, and then it dipped down and was negative for the day. But this ride continues to go up. And at this point, I'm kind of waiting for things to cool down and the short squeeze to finally finish until I can go out and make a a longer explanation video of what exactly happened because this is one of the most interesting short squeezes we've ever seen and as a result a lot of people have been interested in the idea of how these short squeezes work and can it be replicated sometime in the future so i'm going to wait until the dust settles until i have all of the information and kind of give an explanation for what happened how you could identify it because this is something that i identified as a, a potential short squeeze opportunity down when it was trading at like 18 dollars, and kind of talk about my thought process of how often we're going to be seeing this because I think short squeezes are going to become more popular going forward because we've had some innovations in technology, especially with uh, the discussions on uh, Wall Street bets on Reddit. But in today's video, I wanted to be talking about the ARK ETFs. I made a video back just before Christmas, I believe, or maybe it was right after Christmas, talking about who Kathy Wood is and kind of give my, my explanation of what the ARK ETFs are, and then I ranked them. And since I made that video, they have come out and announced that they're going to be creating a new ARK ETF, which will be the sixth one, which is going to be focused on space and exploration. And it's expected this is going to be traded under the ticker ARKX. And so while it hasn't been fully announced what they're going to be buying or when it's going to be available, I wanted to give my kind of discussion and give my, my expectations of what this ETF is going to look like. And I'm going to break this video down into three different parts. The first one is going to be kind of a refresher course for people who haven't watched my previous video or for the people that don't know who Kathy Wood is. So I'm gonna talk about what the ARK ETFs are, talk about their track record. Then second, I'm gonna talk about this new ETF, the ARK X, talk about the space exploration sector and what we've seen in the past. And then finally, I'm gonna be ranking uh, the now six ARK ETFs, because every time I've made a video uh, about these ETFs, people have asked my opinions on them. So just a reminder, if you wanna skip around, there are gonna be timestamps in the description below. And with that out of the way, uh, before getting started, I do have to say that I'm not a licensed financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Anything you hear in this video is just me giving my own opinions on the stock market, and you need to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Also, if you've been enjoying these videos, I'd really appreciate it for the like and subscribe button, as it would help my channel out a lot. So for most people my age, ETFs are not exactly the, the favorite way to invest. In my mind, ETFs are kind of the safer way to invest because it takes into uh, account a variety of different stocks or it follows a, a specific market. And so in general, I think of ETFs as being a safe investment for people that don't want as much hands-on experience and don't want to have to spend as much time doing research about individual stocks. But that's kind of changed in the past when it's come to the ARK ETFs because these have been very exciting ETFs that has been asked multiple times on my channel to discuss them. And that's when they first popped up on my radar because I'd never thought of ETFs as being a very interesting way to talk about the overall stock market. But ARK ETFs were created by Kathy Wood, who's become this uh, investing celebrity in the past couple years. She's been one of the loudest bulls for stocks like Tesla and cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, which is when I first heard her name mentioned. I was trying to find this stat where it had the uh, search results for Kathy Wood has now become more popular than the searches for Warren Buffett. And that kind of shows the changing of the guard and how we're seeing this new age of investors that are all excited about these exciting places to invest instead of the slow and steady stuff that we've been seeing with uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, and Warren Buffett. So in 2018, she came out and set her price target for Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA, uh, for $4,000. And it has reached that point when you take into account the stock splits. And then she's come out and said that she expects Bitcoin to hit $500,000. Um, I mean, I'm kind of in the same mindset, but the fact that she's such a loud bull is very exciting. And the track record of these ARK ETFs are very exciting. So she's been around innovative stocks for a while and has shown pretty good judgment when it comes to picking the good ones. The five and soon to be six ARK ETFs, these ETFs are designed to be uh, invested in disruptive innovation from what they say on their website. Instead of most ETFs that either follow an overall indice like the S&P 500 or they have a variety of stocks, like 200 of them to kind of balance things out and limit the downside potential, the ARK ETFs hold very few holdings. On average, it's like 34 to like 80 for their uh, different ETFs. And looking at their flagship ETF with ARKK, you can see that some of the top performing stocks of 2020 are a part of this portfolio. You see stuff like Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA, Square, ticker symbol SQ, and then DocuSign, ticker symbol DOCU. And that kind of makes sense when you look at their returns for the past year. That's resulted in all five of their ETFs doubling in 2020, and their top performing ETF being ARCG for genomics, being up 225% in the past year. So now part two of this video is the fact that they're releasing this new ETF for space and exploration going under the ticker symbol ARCX. Looking into this space, there is already a space ETF. 
uh, with the ticker symbol UFO, which I think is hilarious. Um, but looking at its history, it has not done very well since it was created uh, back in 2019. Looking at their holdings, there aren't as many household names like you would find on the original ARK ETF. So these are stuff that you know a lot of people would know when it comes to uh, some of the tech stuff, you know, like Spotify, Square, PayPal, companies that a lot of people understand. But, but when you look under the hood into this industry, since it is so young, you don't have a lot of these household names that a lot of people would understand kind of what they do. But with the creation of this ARK ETF, we're gonna be seeing an influx of money going into these stocks. And this is something that we've been seeing already just from the announcement that they are gonna be creating this ETF. So even though Kathy Wood and her team has not been buying any stocks yet, just the news of the creation of this ETF has pushed a lot of these stocks higher. Space exploration is a very interesting concept. Elon Musk has been a part of this sector with SpaceX for a long time that has a valuation near $100 billion. However, he intends to keep his company private to keep control. And I wanted to bring up Virgin Galactic, which is ticker symbol SPCE, which has been one of the exciting stocks that has recently become popular when it comes to the younger investors. I saw a rise in popularity on Robinhood, and it's had a very interesting like past like 18 months. When I put up the chart, uh, you can see that things have been very up and down when it comes to uh, Virgin Galactic. The company was created to bring commercial space flight, and it's been very interesting so far. Uh, and part of the volatility when it comes to the actual stock is the fact that this is I guess you could consider it a business. At this point, I still think of it as mainly a concept in the testing phase. Because when I put up the revenue chart, you can see that there's like no revenue at all. And so I made fun of companies uh, like Nikola that had like $32,000 in revenue. We're looking at a company like Virgin Galactic, very low when it comes to revenue. From their last earnings report, they had a net loss of $66 million with $0 in revenue, but they did have 200 deposits made of $1,000. So they do have a little bit of cash coming in, but. You know, this is an idea more than an actual business at this point. And so, and based off of that, I want to talk about the bull and bear cases for this space exploration sector, because this is very different sector compared to the other five uh, ETFs that ARK has at this point, because this is a sector that is not very established at this point. It is still very young and exciting, but there isn't a lot of revenue to back things up. So on the bull side, this is going to be an industry that's going to have explosive growth going forward. We are still in the infancy when it comes to all of these companies. And I'm expecting them to invest in some well-known companies like a Boeing, Lockheed Martin, stuff like that to give a little bit of stability. But for the most part, the companies that are going to be fully uh, exposed to the sector are still very young. And as I mentioned, uh, Virgin Galactic does not have any revenue sources at this point. So still very young. So this has a lot of growth potential going forward. Now on the bull side, I would also consider this as being a positive, considering that you're investing with Kathy Wood. If this was the first ETF that she had created, I would not feel as good about it. And I'd probably put this in a bear case. But the fact that she is created five ETFs that have all returned 100% in the past year shows that she's very good at what she does and her team does all the research to find these companies that she believes are undervalued at the current price and the fact that they're gonna be doing innovative things going forward. And so if she thought these were overvalued stocks, I don't think she would put her reputation and her performance on the line to go into an industry that I hadn't heard a lot of rumblings about people wanting this ETF originally. So I'm taking this as an idea that she thinks that this is a very undervalued sector and has a lot of potential going forward because Based off of the track record that she's had and the returns that she had in 2020, I don't think she would risk that uh, on, a, on a sector that she thinks could go down in the short term. So I think she's very bullish on that. And so I think that goes along with the bull case. And so this ETF will bring a lot of publicity to the sector that could push it up in the short term. We've already seen that with the announcement of this ETF and they haven't even started buying the individual shares yet. Now going to the bear case, the current ETF in the sector is not seen very good returns when you compare it to the 100% returns of the ARK ETFs in the past year. The market is extremely overextended right now, and any major correction that we see, I expect to be devastating to this sector because when you look at the businesses, the ones that usually resist the downward motions of the stock market are the ones that have very stable businesses. And when you look at this, I'm gonna keep picking on Virgin Galactic, the fact that they have no revenue, this is not gonna be a place that people are gonna be flocking to as a, a safe opportunity. So I think if we do have a major pullback or if we have tough economic times, I think this will be a sector that's gonna get hit pretty hard. And then the case could be made that some of the goals set by Musk about reaching Mars in the next couple of years are very unrealistic and this will put unnecessary pressure on the sector to grow faster than maybe they should. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna watch going forward. But from what I've learned with SpaceX and Tesla, I'm not gonna be betting against Musk, but it is something to watch. And it's gonna be very curious to see if they can hit their goal of reaching Mars, I think it was in 2024 or 2025. So that is coming up pretty soon. And now I wanna talk about how I would rank these six ARK ETFs because they're very different compared to most of the ETFs that you'll find on the stock market. And I think they're pretty exciting for the younger generation of investors that are looking for 
exposure to these exciting companies, but don't want to pick individual stocks and pick the individual waiting for them in their portfolio. These are all just my opinion. And just because I put one over the other doesn't mean that I dislike the other one. It's just based off of my needs and what I want to do with my portfolio. So first I'm going to put their flagship ETF with ARK-K. It's the most diversified out of all of the uh, ETFs. And I think it's probably the safest because it doesn't focus on just one sector. Number two, I'm going to put ARK-G with genomics. This was the one that had the 225% returns in the past year. And the reason behind it is this is a sector that I don't fully understand. And I don't have a lot of exposure and experience with these companies that are involved with genomics. And based off of that, I'm kind of putting my faith into someone like Kathy Wood, who has done all the research and has picked these stocks. Uh, and the fact that there's definitely some strategy into picking you know, the best ones instead of buying all of them makes me feel very confident in the long-term potential of this. And since I don't have a lot of experience, I'll happily buy into an ETF instead of worrying about having to pick individual stocks, especially in a sector that's probably going to have a lot of very big winners and a lot of very big losers. Next up, I'm going to go with ARK-F, which is the fintech-focused ETF. I think we've already been seeing the switch to digital currency with the pandemic, uh, and more peer-to-peer -peer transactions are becoming common. Uh, if this had more Bitcoin exposure, I'd probably be putting a little bit higher, but I think it's a very good ETF in a sector that's very exciting and is, I call it like a teenager when it comes to the the lifespan of this type of company. We've been seeing a lot of explosive growth with stuff like PayPal and Square, and now the rise of cryptocurrency into the mainstream media. So I think it's doing very well right now. Fourth, I am going to be putting the space exploration at ETF, ARC-X. It does have some of the same positives as something like the uh, genomics ETF that I mentioned, but the difference is that I don't feel as excited about the space exploration as I do with genomics. I think genomics are very exciting. And it's going to have a very positive impact on public health, and I don't feel the same way about something like a space exploration. I'm sure people will feel very differently about it, and I have nothing really bad to say about the ARC ETF for space exploration. It just doesn't get me as excited as the previous three that I mentioned. Next up, I'm going to be putting ARC W, which is Next Gen Internet. Uh, and no, it doesn't mean that I think this uh, ETF is going to be doing poorly. It's just I want to be investing in these ETFs if I had to pick them. That's why I put the genomics and the space exploration, because they're sectors that I don't have a lot of experience with. When it comes to the technology stuff, I feel very comfortable picking my own stocks, so I don't feel the need to follow an ETF that has maybe a weighting that I don't fully agree with. And then finally, I'm going to be putting ARC-Q, which is Autonomous Tech and Robotics. It's just not something that's very exciting to me. I'm sure it has a lot of potential going forward and it'll make the lives of everyone much easier, but it just doesn't get me as excited as the previous five. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be ranking the ARC ETFs. Uh, and I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about the, the creation of this new space exploration ETF, because it's going to be pretty interesting what happens when it comes out. And let me know if you're considering buying it when it does go public. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all support and I will see you in the next video.